Greetings, mutual models. It's been a while since I last said that. Got something different for you all again. I don't think I ever mentioned this in one of my videos, except for that one short I made. But I am a fan of the Animal Crossing series. And some time ago, I found this template going around to create a listing of your favourite villagers of each species. I decided to make one too, but then I later thought to myself, you know, this could actually make for a really fun video idea. So, here we are! I'm going to go through each villager species in alphabetical order and see which one's my favourite, why I like them, and maybe some personal experiences and stories with them. I'll also note some honourable mentions for others that didn't quite make the list. Anyway, let's get started! Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator! My favourite alligator is Drago. Not a big surprise there, according to the popularity polls. I've never actually had him in one of my towns, or any other alligator villager for that matter, but Drago has always stuck out to me from the rest because... Well, just look at him. He looks like a dragon! I recall a friend of mine having Drago in her New Leaf town, and that's how I got first acquainted with him. I think he still has his amiibo card. Honorable mention goes to Del, a metallic villager who is apparently based upon a Japanese battleship called the Yamato, and I believe he's even called that in Japan. I detect the order of an ant. I've only had one anti a village in one of my towns, and that was Annalisa. She was one of my starting villagers in my second New Leaf town, until she moved out and Goldie took her place. I wish I could have held on to her a bit longer, because she was pretty cute and interesting, but I do have her amiibo card now, so we're still in touch. According to other people's anti or choices for this template, Annalisa seems to be the pick of the litter, so I'm glad I had her at some point. Help the bear. My favourite bear villagers were the new ones, Megan. To be honest, I haven't had that much experience with these villagers. The only other one I can think of is Chow, but I never liked him too much. Anyway, Megan was a villager I randomly got on my second New Horizons island. I didn't think much of her at first, but over time she's someone who I've really grown to like. Plus, I love how her eyes look when she's surprised or sad. Is that a bear cup or what? Stitch is my favourite bear cup villager, though you probably all saw that one coming. I mean, really. It was probably either gonna be him or Judy, according to the popularity polls anyway. This teddy bear is a real cutie, and I've always been a fan of villagers that aren't exactly proper animals. I invited him to my second New Leaf Town with his card that came in the Amiibo Festival bundle. Yes, I do own that game. Look, I saw it on Amazon for £7.95, okay? Besides, I only bought it for the knickknacks. The game was a bonus in massive quotes there. Anyway, honorable mentions go to Pudge, a cub I had in my first New Leaf Town, Blue Bear, someone I randomly got on my first New Horizons Island, Judy, obviously, and Marty, one of the San Rio villagers. Get me some of those birds. My favourite bird villager is Jacques. I have a bit of an interesting history with him. I had this guy in my second New Leaf Town. I thought he was pretty cool and had an interesting design. I also liked him because he sort of reminded me of Tex, a pig that I had in my first New Leaf Town, who I also thought was cool. I actually made the two roommates in Happy Home Paradise. <laughs> but unfortunately, even though I liked Shark, I kicked him out all because his house was in the way of a path I wanted to make. Man, that situation made me appreciate the ability to move villagers' houses in New Horizons all the more. But here's where things take a fateful turn. Sometime in early 2020, I bought a Series 4 pack of Amiibo cards just for the fun of it, and one of the cards I got was Shark! I didn't even know it was a part of that set, but pulling it felt like destiny, and the two of us are now reunited. Also, we can see how he looks without his hat in New Horizons, and uh, yeah, maybe you should keep that on. Honorable mention goes to Medley, the only reason I own my Toonlick Amiibo, even though I never invited her to my town. Just brought her to the campground so I could get some of that sweet, sweet Zelda furniture. Ooh, this one was easy for me to choose. And that was Vic, a bull villager with a Viking motif. I really love his design. Like, the bull horse with the helmet? It's perfect! I don't think I've ever had him in one of my towns, but I do recall seeing him in Happy Home Designer a few times. Honorable mention goes to Coach, a bull villager I have actually had, though apparently no one else likes him other than me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh man, a real inverse for the cat villagers. This one was a pretty difficult choice for me to make because there's so many good ones to choose from. Rosie, Felicity, Tangy, Bob, Kid Cat, Feline, Raymond, and many others. But I do have a clear favorite, and that's Anka. And no, it's not because of the video that shall not be named. 
Anka is a stussy Egyptian cat with blue hair and a snake accessory on her head. What's not to love? I'm lucky enough to have her amiibo card, so she's always granted by Boon whenever needed. Boon, who says that word anymore? Some might say Anka's overrated, and I guess I agree to some extent, but you can't deny she's a very likeable character, even to non-Animal Crossing fans. Or horn dogs. Plus, I've always paired her with another villager on this list. More on that when I get to them. Spoiler warning, it's not lucky. Though those two make a good pair as well. I generally really like most of the other cat villagers, but a special honorable mention goes to Rosie, who I fight to my new leaf tower with those cards I got with Amiibo Festival. She's cute, iconic, and I love the design she had in that Animal Crossing movie, with the pink highlights in her eyes. There's actually the official plush of Rosie with this look. I'd love to own it, but it's a bit pricey. Well done. My favorite cow village is Naomi, for two reasons. One, she's one of the starting villages I had in my first New Leaf Town, Radica. The name was literally just the word Radical, but without the L. <laughs> I get kind of nostalgic for that place whenever I see her. The card that town was on is long gone now though. And two, this one is kind of funny, but she's always reminded me of Blue Cow from an old TV show called The Story Makers. If you've never heard of it, you're either too young or you're not British. Nox is my favourite chicken villager. A cold rooster knight is... someone I didn't expect to like this much. But I definitely think Nox is a fantastic fowl. He even wears chainmail under his clothes. Nox also goes hand in hand with another villager, but we'll get to him later down the list. Honorable mention goes to Goose, one of the starting villagers I had in my first New Horizons island, Port Nexar. I also have the habit of accidentally calling him Goose sometimes. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. My favourite deer is Chelsea, another one of the Sanrio villagers. I wouldn't call myself a huge Sanrio fan. Then again, I'm the same person who bought a Sanrio Tamagotchi Smart. But I've always really liked the furniture sets in villagers in the Animal Crossing series. And Chelsea is no exception. Not my favourite of the six, but she's still a villager I really like. Honorable mention goes to she though, who's a favourite among some of my friends. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. I'm personally more of a cat person, but my favourite dog villager is Goldie, even if I thought you were a boy at first. Can you blame me for that? She is kind of androgynous looking. Goldie was actually the first ever villager I invited through amiibo cards, and because of that, I guess I've had a lot of time to bond with her. I also know someone who's kind of obsessed with Goldie, so that might add to it as well. <laughs> also, according to one of her picture quotes, apparently she thinks the Labrador from the Tendogs is dreamy. That's, uh... Good to know. The toilet duck. A rare sight this time of the year. It's Molly. Come on, who else was it gonna be? Though I think it might be one of those cases where I chose her because almost every other duck villager isn't so appealing. Never had her myself, personally. But a friend of mine always did with her amiibo card. The same person who I said had dragos, actually. I've got something for you. My favorite eagle is Sterling. This is the villager I was foreshadowing that paired well with Nox, since Sterling is also a nightbird. I love seeing these two together. I have both of them on my card at New Horizons Island, and they're great. I like to think they're Master Apprentice or something like that. I also see them as my island's royal card or something. Honorable mention goes to Apollo. I love how he's just a big American symbol. His birthday's on the 4th of July for crying out loud. Donuts, it's really fantastic. My favorite elephant is Chai. Yet another one of the Sanrio villagers, who, just like with Goldie, I thought was a boy at first. I mean, she's blue, the character she's based upon Cinema Roll is a boy, so... Yeah, I came missing up, don't I? Anyway, Chai is adorable. I also love how there's a ton of fat art that pairs her up with Tia, another tea-inspired elephant villager, and who's my honorable mention for this segment. Here we show you a close-up of a frog croaking. Ah, my personal favorite animal. And what better choice to make by picking the villager that isn't technically a frog, Ribot. Out of all the robot villagers in this series, this guy is definitely my favorite. I also love how glossy he and the other villagers with metal on them look in New Horizons. I first acquired him randomly through the campsite in New Leaf, and I've loved him ever since. So much so that I decided to buy his amiibo card secondhand. Honorable mention goes to Lily, an actual frog and a real cutie. My favourite here is another one of the newer ones, Sherb. Haven't had much experience with the gold villagers personally, but this blue lazy boy is adorable, and I can see why others really like him as well. 
I wish I had more to say here, but that's all I've got. <laughs> For my favorite gorilla, we have Rilla. Yeah, another one of the Sanrio villages, this one representing Hello Kitty. I think I like her the most because she's adorable in comparison to the other apes. Most of which all look beefy and gruff in some way, so I like that juxtaposition. Never invited her to one of my towns. I don't think I ever had a Sanrio character move in except for Toby and Marty. But I do love that Hello Kitty furniture she comes with. Honorable mention goes to Rocket, one of the hero villagers. <laughs> Flurry is my favorite hamster, probably because she's the only one I've ever had in the town. That and she's adorable. I've never had a ham ham as a pet before, but if they're as cute as she is, I might have to jump on that train. She also has a pet hamster of her own in our New Horizons house. That's more than a little weird. You've got to try these new hippo shaped biscuits from Kinder. I'll be honest, I've never really been a big fan of the hippo villages. They're all not so appealing to me personally. But if I had to choose one, it would be Biff. But only because he's the one I dislike the least, and since he kind of reminds me of Murray from the Sly Cooper games. Is that a rocking horse or what? I think we all know who I chose for this one. Yup, it's the unicorn the cub, Julian. But can you blame me? He's so pretty and majestic. Fitting for a mythical creature. I've actually had him as a villager twice, in New Leaf and New Horizons. Though I later gave it to a friend who liked him a lot more in New Leaf. Honorable mention goes to Epona, another one of the Zelda Crossway villages, and Philly, another one of the Super Sentai villages. Even though you can't actually fight it to your tower without hacking your game. But those 7 Eleven items she hosted in her RV were really freaking cool. I haven't had much interaction with the kangaroo villages. The only one I've ever had is Sylvia, so I guess she's my choice. I recall a friend of mine having her at some point in New Leaf as well. Again, I wish I had more to say, but I don't. Eugene is my favorite koala. There's just something about his greaser look that really does it for me. Or it might be because he reminds me of Fonzie. I just wish he looked as cool without those sunglasses. He's also one of my friend's favorites, so that might add to it as well. The line I chose here is actually one of my all-time favorites, Elvis. He's another starting villager I had on Radica, and I've always really liked him in his king motif, so much so that I bought his amiibo card, and like with Anka, I've always invited him whenever possible. Speaking of Anka, I also really like pairing her up with Elvis. They make a great king and queen duo. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. My favorite mouse village is Petri, another newer one. I was kind of different to her at first. Not really a big fan of mice as a cat lover, but she's really grown on me as time has gone on. I love those anaglyph ears and her opaque sunglasses. Also, if we give her another pair, we could actually see what eyes look like. It. <laughs> my my, how sinister. Oral mention goes to Greta. To be honest, the only reason I like her is because her eyes change when she's angry and- <laughs> Well, that's even worse! Monkey! I would put Porter here if I could, but he's a special character so I can't. I guess I'll go with Shari then. I've had quite a few run-ins with her. She randomly showed up in my New Leaf town, apparently belonging to a friend of mine. She did eventually move out, though I did manage to score a villager vote since she was there for April Fool's Day. <laughs> She was also one of my starting villages on my second New Horizons island, Neo Nexar. So, yeah, I guess we're quite acquainted. Honorable mention goes to Champ, I guess. Who I think is Porter's brother, according to the e reader cards. Takoyaki. My favorite octopus is the Takoyaki inspired Zucker. Such a cute and tasty looking villager. I had him on my first New Horizons island. I love him. My friends love him. I guess you could say we're all suckers for Zucker. <laughs> It's also because, <laughs> this is very personal to me, but there's this one picture my friend made, you know who you are, where he put Zucker's head on a sucker fish, called it Zucker fish, and keeps annoying me with it. <laughs> Man, I really need better friends. And my honorable mention goes to, well, all the other octopi. They're all cool in their own ways. Flora's my favorite ostrich. Is it correct to even call her an ostrich? She's more of a flamingo. Or an ostrich that happens to look like one? Either way, she's super cute. I've had her twice so far. In New Leaf before switching her out with Rosie. And on my second New Horizons Island where she's a permanent member of Neo Nexar. Honorable mention goes to Sprocket. 
Another really cool robotic villager. Feel a little peckish, pop up a pick up a penguin. I've had my fair share of penguins in towns, but my favourite has to be Sprinkle. She's just so adorable. And not much to say other than that. <laughs> penguins are cute, so uh, I think those looks speak for themselves. I'll roll mention go to Tex again. He's a really cool musical penguin. And a dishonorable mention goes to Igly, who decides to place his home right in front of the freaking town hall! You littering pig! My favorite pig is Ganon, another Zelda crossover villager. Seeing the King of Evil in a cute chibi form like this is pretty hilarious. Perhaps he was revived incorrectly. Again, never actually invited him. I think one of my friends had him though. He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! You all probably know who's gonna take the rabbit spot. It's the new kid in the block, Sasha. He's an absolute cutie, and I didn't think anyone suspected him to be a lazy villager, or a boy when first revealed. I invited him to my card island as soon as I could, did take a good number of Nookmar tickets though. Funny story, one time when I was doing a Nookazon trade, my clients thought I had him and said, OMG you have the fair boy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was making that up, but oh man I remember it. Oh. Plus the fact that he acts childish and looks a bit feminine reminds me a lot of my best friend Sure. But uh, don't tell him I said that. Honorable mentions go to Mira, a superhero villager that actually used to be my favorite when I was younger. Toby, my favorite of the Sanrio villagers, representing Kera Kera Keropi. I really like frogs. What did you expect? The dazzling duo Chrissy and Francine, and Genji, who for some reason has always reminded me of Marichi from the Tamagotchi series. I'm not the only one who sees it, right? So I built this cage to keep him secure so there's no possible- Oh my god. Oh gee, I wonder who I picked for the rhino section. It's Morang. Come on, who else was it gonna be? I had her on my first New Horizons Island, and she's certainly really cute. Maybe a little too cute, because if I'm being honest, Morang kind of makes every other rhino virgin look like garbage compared to her. Leave it to oh boy, this might get a little deep. My favorite sheep villager also happens to be my favorite in the entire series, and that's Buffy. I have several reasons for this. Firstly, she's a sisterly villager, and those have always been my favorite personality. It's one of the reasons why Mira was my favorite years ago. Secondly, I don't know what it is, but I've always find myself gravitating towards goth or creepy characters in media, even though I'm normally scared of those kind of people in real life. Except Darius, I guess. Eh. It might be an opposites attract sort of thing, I don't know. Thirdly, her birthday is on Valentine's Day, and in New Horizons specifically, if you give her a gift on her birthday, she has a unique bit of dialogue where she states apparently her birthday is always forgotten about due to it being on this day and thanks you for remembering it. When I first saw that, it really pulled on my heartstrings. I didn't think a gothic release of sheep would get me all emotional like this, but here we are. Sure Buffy may seem creepy at a glance, but once you get to know her, she's really quite lovely. I think that's the reason why I like her so much. She's the absolute definition of don't judge a book by its cover. Honorable mentions go to Etwa L. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but she's another one of the Sanrio villagers. And Dom, a newer villager who's a favorite of one of my friends. I had him at some point, but only to give it to him. <laughs> Look at this beautiful screen world! If you thought I'd choose Marshall for this section, you'd be wrong! It's actually Vinci, one of the Splatoon crossover villagers from New Leaf who resembles Marie, one half of the Squid Sisters. The reason I like her the most is a little complicated. No, it's not because Marie is my waifu or something like that. Firstly, you. Secondly, I've never really played those games. Maybe I should though. It's actually because I have an online friend who's called Marie, who I met through playing New Leaf, who coincidentally plays Splatoon, and we've kind of had a back and forth of Marie jokes because of it. Strange reasoning, I know. It's also the only reason I have Marie's amiibo anyway. Honorable mentions go to Marshall, obviously, and Agent S. Yes, another superhero villager. Well, everybody knows Frosty's taste great. My favorite tiger villager is Bianca, though design-wise, I think she's supposed to be more of a snow leopard. Anyway, Bianca was yet another starting village I had in Radica, and I've loved her ever since. New Leaf was actually my introduction to the series, so I think that's why a lot of the starting villages there are some of my favorites now. And just like with a few other of my favorites. I bought her amiibo card second hand so I could see my old pal again. Honorable mention goes to Leonardo, 
Another tiger village I had in Radica. Oh, and also Rolf, who's a favorite of the same friend who likes Storm. Mmm, that savage pack of wolves down the front looks like a better option. <laughs> and finally, to end things off, my favorite wolf villager is Wolf Link, or W Link as it's abbreviated as here. The last of the Zelda crossover villages, and definitely one of the coolest. He looks super cute in the Animal Crossing style, but just like with all the other crossover villages, I never really invited him to my town. Just summed him so I could get my hands on some of that sweet Zelda furniture and clothing. And that completes my list! This ended up being a bit more of an undertaking than I thought it would, but it was really fun talking about all these different animal pals and recalling all my memories of them for this video. What are your favourite villages of each species? Do you have any interesting stories to share about them as well? Let me know in the comments, I am genuinely curious about that stuff. Well, I think I spent enough time talking about cute anthropomorphic animals for one video. I'll just go back to enjoying the depths of obscurity again. Take care, beautiful models!